So if you remember, we went to Texas in November on a hunting trip uh, out to our buddy's property and Scott got a pretty big Audad sheep. Link to that video if you want to see that hunting trip uh, is below. Um, but now we're back here and we're going to make some Audad sheep curry. This is going to be an Indian style, uh, like a masala curry. Um, everyone says the running joke with Audad is that it tastes like leather or rubber. And a lot of people just take the heads and leave it. Scott and I don't shoot anything that we don't eat. So we have found different ways to make it taste good through marinating. It's like any other large game. Um, it's a little tough. So again, it's where the handy pressure cooker comes in handy. So to start with, we're going to add our whole spices. This is a few bay leaves, a couple of cinnamon sticks, uh, about seven or eight cloves, half a teaspoon of cumin seed. Some okay, so we've got our whole um, spices in here. I also added about four cardamom uh, pods and a couple of peppercorns. And that's just sauteing in a mixture of butter <clears throat> and olive oil. So you just want to make sure that you're constantly stirring so that your spices don't burn. What this does is it activates these whole spices and it gets them very fragrant. And it's actually, it's a very important part of Indian cooking is to make sure that these spices are quite fragrant. Now to this mixture, I'm going ahead and adding our vegetables. This is one onion, about five cloves of garlic, uh, a habanero from the garden, and uh, about a one and a half inch chunk of diced ginger. And we're gonna continue to saute this probably for about four to five minutes. You wanna make sure that your onions are really browned and caramelized. Um, it's part of what gives such a good flavor to your food. If it does start to stick, you can add a little chicken stock or a little water. Okay, so this is kind of what you're looking for. Uh, your vegetables have browned out quite a bit. You wanna make sure that you're constantly stirring so you don't burn anything. Um, but once your vegetables get nice and brown like this, then it's time to go into the next step. In here, we have our Audad meat. This was an eye around and a shank. And what I've done is I've seasoned it with salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, a little paprika, and a little bit of flour. And we're now gonna toss this in and let this saute as well. And you just wanna go until it's fully browned on all sides. Um, the flour in it is actually going to help to thicken up your curry sauce. So we're gonna cook this probably, you know, it's probably gonna be five minutes. Um, on saute until everything gets brown. Okay, so now we're just gonna stir in that chicken stock. We're gonna scrape the bottom of the pan, make sure that we get all those little brown bits from that uh, toasted flour off. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in a can of tomatoes. Um, you can also use fresh tomato. Usually it's like one whole large one. Um, one to one and a half is, is about standard. And we're gonna go in and add in our ground spices. This is turmeric, salt. We have some chili pepper, coriander, and a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna get that all mixed in. And right now it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I am sure it's going to taste great. So now we're gonna switch from saute mode into uh, pressure mode. So we're gonna put the lid on, twist it, we're gonna make sure that the, the cap is set to sealing, and we are going to hit the meat and stew button. Well, first we'll turn it off. And then we're gonna heat, hit meat and stew. We're gonna turn it down to about 25 minutes. And there we go. So now it's on, it's gonna come up to pressure, and in about 25 minutes, we're gonna quick release it and check how it's come out. Okay, so it looks like everything is done. I just quick release the steam. And it looks like our curry is complete. So here's what our final product looks like. It's got a nice consistency to it. You can see the meat chunks are looking pretty good. We've got some seasoned rice. This is just rice with a little bit of butter, olive oil, salt, some cilantro, and a couple of sliced uh, almonds. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna pour in some of our curry. And you want to make sure you're not getting a, a lot of those whole spices in it. 
If you're concerned about that, then you can go ahead and just put them in a spice pack before you start cooking. And to this, we're gonna add a couple of slices of avocado. Scott loves avocado. A dollop of yogurt. And then some fresh cilantro. And then we should be good to go. All right, so this is my favorite part of these videos is I get to eat it. So we got some naan. Megan shows you the plating. So I'm just gonna try it without the naan first. Here's a little bit of the sheep. Mm. So for anybody out there who says Audad is not worth eating, I disagree. This is fantastic. So we use a shank and normally you have to really cook a shank down to get it really tender. Well, the way I did it um, with Megan is that we cut it up into chunks along the silver skin. The pressure cooker actually just crushed that silver skin. There's no gamey flavor. It's really tender, not chewy at all. So here's a complete bite with the cilantro, avocado, rice, and a little bit of that sheep. Mm. Try it with the naan. Oh, babe, that's good. Good. That's really good. Um, yeah, so any hunters out there, if you're going for odd ad, don't waste it. Don't just go for the trophy. Respect the meat, eat the meat, and uh, we'll post all of the ingredients in the description below so that you guys can replicate this recipe. So here's what with it on. Mm. Okay. The look on my face, she's done it again. We've got creaminess with the sour cream. The rice is also creamy. You've got the meat for umami. You've got a little bit of avocado for flavor. The cilantro adds that little bit of freshness. And then on the naan, you've got the crunch. You've got the salt. Everything comes together in this amazing bite. Let's go ahead and stop the video so I can crush on the rest of this. And all I had to do was get covered in flour to make the naan. So look guys, we've said it a bunch. It's our motto. Um, you know, we've got all this great food in front of us. If you're going to hunt, if you're gonna fish, if you're gonna forage, eat it. It's worth it. It's not worth killing something just for a trophy. This is a prime example of something that was so delicious. So all I gotta say to you is dinner is waiting. Go and get it. Like us, subscribe if you like the videos.